Hi everyone, welcome to Ross 2 Q&A here at The Construct. My name is Rodrigo and today I'm going to be answering this question right here that I found on Ross Answers in which uh, this person, JMAD, is trying to uh, install both ROS1 and ROS2 into his system and he's having uh, trouble with the sources. So um, this happens a lot when people are trying to use ROS1 uh, connected with ROS2 uh, in case some of the things that are they're working on are still in ROS1 but they want to uh, start building uh, their nodes and whatnot in ROS2 so there's a connection you can make there between them too. So uh, let's go into it and let's see what this person is uh, trying to figure out and uh, we'll, I'll show you how uh, sort of I understand it and how I set up my system, all right? So I'm just gonna make this big and uh, we'll get right into it. So he um, basically installs ROS1 Noetic and ROS2 Foxy on his system. Uh, and the way he switches between them and can access commands for ROS1 and ROS2 is he, in his bash, bash RC file, he has either his ROS1 sourcing that does OPT ROS1 noetic, then he has a workspace in ROS1, uh, two of them actually, and then he has the ROS2 sourcing option in which he sources the installation of Foxy, then he has a ROS2 workspace, and then he does a user share script that I actually don't know what it is, but um, he explains that the problem is not this. The problem is that when he sources ROS2 Foxy, also ROS1 is being sourced. So this is the um, output that happens when he uh, opens a terminal, which means right here it says, oh, ROS distro is set to Foxy before, which means that in here, Noetic is being sourced, and then right afterwards, Foxy is being sourced. So he only wants to source one distribution, in this case, ROS2. So he traced the problem back to the install setup bash and as you can see he has things for ROS Noetic. Um, so he doesn't understand why and he just wants to uh, be able to source Foxy. All right. So this is pretty simple actually in terms of how to avoid this. And this is probably from a configuration he made following some tutorials or something for ROS2. But I'm gonna show you how we can uh, go around this problem. So I'm gonna show you guys in our website, theconstructsim.com. And uh, you can actually create an account really quick if you don't have one. And if you do, you just log in. Uh, and uh, we can go over here to my ROSJEX area. And we can create a new ROSJECT. So we'll set up the same distributions that he has. So we'll select ROS Foxy. And we can say sourcing, the name of it, it can be whatever you want. So we'll say ROS1, ROS2 sourcing. Let's make it private. And you have to set a description as well. And actually, this distribution that we're selecting for our Rostject also comes with Noetic. So this comes perfect for this, for this example. So we can hit Create. And as you can see, right here, our Rostject in Foxy has been created. So we can go ahead and run it. And while it's loading, let me just send you back to the construct sim.com so I can show you uh, our platform. You can learn from over 50 robotics courses with learning paths. You can start if you're a beginner, if you want to do robot navigation or machine learning, there's a ton of courses that you can take in both ROS1 and ROS2. 
So I recommend you guys check it out and create an account to start learning with Ross. Uh, it's just a really uh, helpful way to get started in either, either ROS1 or ROS2. Okay, so now we come back to our ROS check here and we'll just close this. And this is our environment. Uh, and I'm gonna open up a shell right here to show you a couple things. First, I'm going to go to the installation of ROS right here and you can see that we have a Foxy and a Noetic distributions, which means that both systems are installed, right? Like uh, in the same manner that the user here uh, wants to have it. So if we go here to our code editor, you'll see that we have a bunch of uh, workspaces. We have, but the one, the two one, main two ones that I want you to look at is this uh, Catkin workspace, which is in ROS1. Um, and you can tell by, because this has a devil folder instead of an install. And then there's the ROS2 workspace that is in ROS2. So like he said, he found the problem in the install setup.bash. So this file right here. And like you can see, I have a bunch of uh, sourcing for the installations and this one that is just uh, an extra ROS2 workspace that we use. But like you can see, there's no OPT, no edit. There's no, none of that like he has right here. So how did I do that? And one way to just quickly go around it is to make a new workspace. So that's the easiest thing to do. So we could check. Uh, and how we do that is we can go back home here and um, make a new deer directory. Let's say make deer uh, new ROS2 workspace. You can call it whatever you want. Then we'll enter it, create an SRC folder like that and then we can call on build in here and this will automatically set us up uh, with a ROS2 workspace so we could actually start creating packages inside this SRC folder and start working with it and as you can see now we have our build installed and log folders that are created when we compile with Colcom build. And if we go back to our IDE, we can find it here, new ROS2 workspace. And this has no noetic uh, junk attached to it. So when you source your ROS2 workspace install setup.bash, you won't have two distributions. So let's, let's try it in a new shell here. We can create a new one right here. We can actually, let's say we want to go into Foxy. So we can say source, and we'll source our new workspace, install setup.bash. And so now, we should only have ROS2 Foxy uh, sourced, so something like a ROS core wouldn't work, right? Because we're in ROS2 and uh, ROS core is, an, is a command from ROS1. So that's kind of what we want here. And let's say we open up a new one and we want to source Noetic. In this case, we can either source from the installation, which is actually recommendable because you might have packages installed in there, um, like this. And it only says, okay, your distribution has been set to Foxy before. That's because this in this environment, our bash RC actually 
first only sources Foxy. So if we were to look at our bash RC, we would find somewhere in here that you know we're sourcing only Foxy. But um, I'm not going to show you that. Just um, it's just so you get the idea because he puts these two in his, into his bash RC. So it would be the same setup, you know. We are sourcing opt setup dot bash automatically in our case, and then sourcing a workspace that no noetic is in there. So in here we can start like saying ROS2 and press tab. And you could you should see all the auto completions of the command, which means that ROS2 is sourced and you can start working with um, with ROS2. And we have here a lot of possibilities so we can ROS2 run all of this stuff. Uh, and again, when we open up a new shell and source our new workspace, oh, sorry, like that, Only ROS2 will be sourced, no ROS1 in here. And uh, so yeah, basically you should try and uh, make a new workspace like I showed you and you should be ready to go. So it's pretty simple, you can make as many workspaces as you want. I like to um, have a main one but if I need some to check something that I don't want to include other things in my main workspace. I can just create as many as I want and it's as easy as that. You can just uh, make a new directory with your SRC folder and compile. And uh, that should be getting rid of um, the noetic sourcing here, which again, I'm assuming he had as a way to, uh, when he was following a tutorial or maybe he was trying to install the ROS1 bridge, uh, which is another story, but you have to source both ROS1 and ROS2 if you want to use something like that. Uh, probably you can find more videos in our ROS Q&A and in general in our page about using ROS1 bridge. Uh, but yeah, uh, basically you can do whatever you want with your workspace, so don't be afraid of deleting them, making new ones, because uh, you'll probably need to do that in the future. Uh, the only thing you shouldn't really touch is the installation of Foxy, which is in this OPT ROS Foxy. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. I hope I um, answered your question, JMAD, and uh, we'll see you guys next week for the next uh, ROS2 q and I'm sorry, in two weeks for the next uh, ROS2 Q&A uh, here at The Construct. So bye, you guys.